What's up Legionnaires? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a way how you can use frame generation. That's not the official AMD way, but it's another way that actually works really well. So that is looseless scaling. I'm going to show you guys how to install this. I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. And I'm also going to showcase this running under Lenovo Legion Go. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. So it's pretty simple to do. All you have to do is just open up Steam, like you see him right here, search for it, and you see it right here called Looseless Scaling. Then you want to purchase it. I believe it's $7, but once you purchase it, it then installs for you, and then you can just have access to it. So as you can see here, I can launch it, or you can just come to your desktop here, and you can just search for it after you've installed it. So as you can see here, I have looseless scaling right here. So I'm going to open it up to showcase what this actually looks like. So here it is. So as you can see here, you have your scaling mode, you have your scaling type, and you have frame generation as well. So to set this up is pretty simple. All you have to do is just leave scaling mode out on the aspect ratio like this. Scaling type, there's different types, but for this, you just leave it off. And then you want to turn frame generation on. And come here is the LSFG. So that's pretty much all you need to do. And then push scale to activate it. You can also set it up here to where you can put a hotkey to start this and turn it off. So feel free to do it that way if you guys choose to as well. All right. So next we're going to open up a game and just showcase what the game setting should look like for this to run as well. All right. So here we have Cyberpunk. So let me showcase my settings and show you guys what you actually need to do to get this one to run. So as you can see here, you need to make sure that you have your resolution at 800p. You have to have the window mode set on window or window borderless. I've actually used this on full screen and it seems to work as well, but just to make sure that you're getting this, make sure it's on windows or window borderless. All right, so here we have Cyberpunk running. So I had to disconnect this because my capture card was having issues, but here we go to settings. Let me show you guys what I'm running this one on. As you can see here, I have a pretty high preset here. Everything all out. Again, go into my videos, 800p windowed, right? You see FPS wise, I'm able to get 60. You see FPS here, I'm able to get 45, 43, 40. Again, this runs pretty well, but check out what happens when I open up Lucid Scale. And so we're just gonna go here. We're going to open it up. So here we have looseless scaling. So again, we have scaling auto aspect ratio scaling type off and also something to take into consideration here. If you scroll down here, this gives you an FPS count. So this is important because it shows you when it's actually activated. So you might want to turn this on and that is the draw FPS here. So make sure that's checked on. So we're going to go to scale It's going to give you a countdown here, five, four, three, two, one. What you want to do is just open up the game. You're going to see that blink. And now you see up here, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that a little better, but look at that FPS count here. That is the actual FPS that you get in. This is the normal FPS that you used to get. Like you guys saw when I had it, but now I'm getting 80 FPS now with this one. And Again, look how smooth that goes. Now again, look how smooth this is. Now it's at 75 FPS right there. So again, you get almost double the FPS count, 80 FPS here, 73. So again, this is quite impressive and as you can see it runs really smooth here. So this is a good way to improve your FPS count. It runs really well and really smooth. And as you can see, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is just hit scale open up your game and you're good to go. But yeah, this is Cyberpunk as you've seen, we're getting 60s, we're getting 70s, and this is running on high at 800p. All right, so another game that I want to showcase here, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Survivor. And as you guys know, this game is very demanding. So we're gonna go to visuals. As you can see, I have it on Windows as well, 800p and high graphical settings. So let's go to continue here. All right, so as you can see, this is the game now running on high settings and you can see my FPS count there is only at 30 FPS. Now let's turn on looseless scale and, and see what this does. All right, so again, here it is. We're gonna hit scale. The countdown begins. All you have to do now is just open up the game and you're gonna see it blink once it blinks. Look at the FPS count here. So again, we're getting 57 FPS and look how much smoother this is now. Now there is some ghost in every once in a while, but it's not too bad. I tested this with God of War and the ghost in you can 
really see it there but again this game is not too bad with the ghost in but yeah it looks good and again you get that high fps counts 57 fps there almost close to 60 running on high setting you guys know how demanding this game is to run on these handheld devices so this is pretty cool to see this one just being able to run at high 50s here so again this one is running pretty well on this device using this as well again close to 60 fps here all right so where this also shines is with emulation you can actually use this to emulate so we're going to open up our ps3 emulator here all right so we're going to open up loose the scale in the game we're going to go to scale the countdown begins and we're going to open up a game like god of war we're going to hit play and you're going to see the fps difference that you're going to get again we have it activated there you've seen the counter go up all right so as you can see here this is god of war 3 so normally we'll begin 19 fps but as you can see with this on we're getting close to 40 fps here so 44 fps there so again it makes this definitely playable here and it gives you that fps boost it also works under yuzu emulate as well again if you're looking into emulation this is a good way to get some fps boost with your emulation but again i'm getting almost 50 fps here running god of war on this device which is quite impressive all right fellas so that is loosely scaling on this device again it's pretty easy to use you just go to the steam store purchase it and by purchasing it you can then use it on pretty much any application to get frame generation going so i would highly recommend this one it's pretty affordable in the steam store let us know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this are you guys going to give this a try appreciate you guys we'll catch you guys in the next one until next time peace out